Good afternoon, Scarview 204, the New World Cameroon. It's a five and a half inch, 54 ring gauge cigar made by some guy called AJ Fernandez. I, it must be the first cigar he's ever made. I don't think I've heard of him. Just kidding. Uh, he makes pretty much everything these days, it seems. Not uncommon for him. Nicaragua made, box pressed, but not, I wouldn't call it heavily box pressed, especially once you get out towards uh, the Kind of foot of the cigar, it's not quite as box pressed. I do like the wrapper uh, that I'm, you know, kind of mutilating as I'm pulling it off, but uh, I like it. The only problem is the glue there was really tight, so it does kind of tear up the wrapper of the cigar. For me, it actually looks, appearance wise, it's a more expensive cigar. I do think they did a great job with the wrapper. It's got a beautiful Cameroon. Um, wrapper on it yeah it's just a nice cigar and this is only about six dollars a stick here um this 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 is my fault right when i just took that label off i kind of tore it a little bit not really the fault of the cigar uh but let's get down to it so when i evaluate it is how does it burn how does it draw how does it taste fantastic draw um, I like the taste. It's some kind of interesting notes, some kind of competing notes, but not in a bad way. Um, I get some tiramisu, a little bit of chocolate, which tends to really be a dominant flavor, I notice, in A.J. Fernandez cigars. A little bit of green tea almost popping through just for a moment, um, but a lot of toast and butter. Now, a lot of times when you get Cameroon wrappers that have that kind of toast and butter taste to it, which many of them do, most of them do, it's a little more subdued. This is a pretty dominant forward cigar. You know, if we're thinking in terms of like wine, this would be a fruit bomb. If we're thinking in terms of like a scotch, this is kind of a peaty scotch. It, it's got some kick to it. Uh, not necessarily nicotine content, but yeah, this, this is a full bodied big cigar. I really like it. Um, I, I think it's absolutely delicious. Now again, it's kind of falling apart, but I, I just, I think I kind of tore it, so I'm not going to try to fault the cigar too much. The best way, by the way, to deal with this is just to pull it off yourself, because <clears throat> that's not going to come undone. So gently, if you do tear the wrapper, just pull it the rest of the way off. One thing, though, that this allows me to kind of show is, and you probably can't see it, but something common in Cameroon wrappers is this texture that almost looks like little bumps. We call that being toothy. Uh, and what that means is that you've got these little bumps and that's actually formed by oil, you know, in and under the wrapper kind of pushing through and forming those bumps. So if you're ever smoking a cigar with a Cameroon wrapper and others, those little bumps, that's not a defect. It's a natural product of how it's made. Um, but yeah, it's, it's burning evenly. Great draw, tons of mouthfeel. I really like the taste. Uh, if it did have a con to it, it would be that it is kind of one dimensional, right? I had little hints of green tea, but mostly it's just kind of, um, you know, toast, butter, a little bit of cedar in there. A little bit of salt, but really sometimes, by the way, when you taste salt or salt like things in a cigar, it's actually just because you're a little bit dehydrated and I probably am. Uh, something that I, you know, feel free, by the way, if you're watching this to disagree, when I smoke cigars and tend to get salt taste, I also tend to get lime taste. Maybe it's because I have too many margaritas, but I seem to get more of a lime taste when I'm a little bit, I think, dehydrated as well. That could just be my own observations. Well, it is my own observations, but I could be just, I could be crazy. Who knows? But guys, that's it. Scarview 204, the new World Cameroon by AJ Fernandez and the, I think it's called the Double Robusto Size. It's great. $6 a stick all day, baby. Uh, I would actually, rare for me for an AJ Fernandez cigar, but I would give a strong recommendation on this. I think this is fantastic. If you are ordering a box of cigars and you want a full box in the $6 price range, this would be very hard to beat. So that's it, guys. Cigar View 204. Go with a strong recommend on that New World Cameroon.